Today's topic will be Comet Isol. The 5D knowers see the resonance in what I do. For the 3D finders, let's play a game. Okay? Let's imagine Comet Ison is not a comet. Let's say it's a mothership. Okay? It's a game, okay? Don't take it too serious. It's a game. 5D knows. 3D will. Let's say it's a mothership. A natural mothership. That is responsible to transmit certain signals to exoplanetary systems to enhance life and evolute DNA as is. So in this game we play this is not Nibiru or Nipheru because Nibiru is not coming back. That is a past timeline that is not here and it can't be anchored here. Some people relive the cell memory of that coming back but it's unhinged from that timeline because how do we know uh, that it doesn't take place? Well, it doesn't take place. It's not happening here. Okay? That happened in the past. Everything is safe and everything is under control. Everything is monitored and everything is watched. Every action is recorded. Everything you consciously visualize with going through life or seeing people is being recorded and reported back to wherever ships or whatever assignments you have. So here's the idea. In this game, the mothership Ison passes by Earth, comes very close, the sun emits a coronal discharge flare that hits the ship and it's then reflected back to Earth from the other side of the sun through the uh, mothership eyes on. As we witness this, and we see that in crop circles too, as it leaves these trails, as we look at this, the program already takes place. So the accessibility for new science, as in new magic, um, is here. It wants to be found. It wants to be activated. It can only be activated by divine intent. If you don't have that, you can build a magnetic generator. Guess what? It will not work. If you're in resonance with what you're doing, and you embody what you're doing, it will work. If you're in a corrupt way, try to attempt to steal divine knowledge from people or originators or inbringers, it, you will not be in business. That is just a new cosmic law that anything that is not built on the foundation of love in an authentic way or as an authentic business or transparent business won't be a business. It will be an independent, dependent or codependent situation and it can prosper. Some books say that you will see the new beings and you will see who is who by the fruits of their labor. So what will come in the future and what you will witness and what will be initiated will be all televised. It will all be on YouTube. Whether it's a new magnetic generator, where is, I don't know, you name it. From here on, you know, the slate is clean and clear and lots is possible. So we, in this game, don't play doomsday prophecy. We believe in the good and the highest, most probable outcome benefiting mankind. That only makes sense. For that, you need no leader. Nobody needs to follow. Lead your own way. Ultimately, we don't need anything. We just need to prove that there are children on this planet, it doesn't matter what age, I'm saying cosmic children, that can find interdimensional playgrounds, as in finding the excitement, finding the joy, reactivating that, and living that. And um, November was a very, very powerful, you could say, energy month. People were moving, uh, toxic relationships were split. Uh, things are being recalibrated. Uh, we have new assignments of timelines, meaning your choice affects the timeline that you will be in the future. 
you're seeding your companies, whatever you want to do, your endeavors, your plans, and everything is creative force, creation, creation, creation. Ison says, you know, go forward, move forward, believe in the positive, keep on moving. You know, if you're not in an area where there's a hurricane or it's not flooded, you know, bless those, you know, souls that left uh, in the Philippines, you know, tsunamis, Hurricane Katrina, those things happen to remind us, to wake us up. Fukushima, you know, healings to all of those people that go through these critical phases. Earth is talking to us right now, but if you're not in a zone where you're in ultimate danger, well, then create positive and make positive. That's why you're here. So, there's no flood coming to you. We have, you can say, minor incidents on planet Earth that help us to remind we work together. We need to work together. We need to stick together. We need to harmonize because the only way to survive is to be a symbiont on this planet, not a parasite. Earth will shake the parasites off. All characters that can't be lived anymore will be forgotten or disintegrate or be in the past or be maybe on the same planet but in a different timeline. I imagine Earth is Penn Station, New York and everybody will take a, pr a train carrying a pass to board the train and the pass includes the frequency according to the universe that they're creating. So there's going to be no more disturbance in the field. There's going to be peace. So um, let's say ISON is a mothership. It's a company accompanied by uh, uh, protector ships. It is monitored by an even bigger ship that watches the entire thing. Ships that are as big as planets, as worlds, where people are actively working. I send greetings and love and respect to the crew that works on the Octorian Antarian Midway Station which is a very important boarding conscious ship where souls load themselves in and out all races to come here consciously protect themselves way back into time to help Earth ascend, I thank them. All the races that are here, the founder races, the races that watched this experiment, the ancient ones that started this to help us to remember who we are in this great experience and this great gift as the natives would say that we are gifted to be here for every breath that we are being breathed by the divine is a gift for tomorrow is not promised it's what you make it and make the best of it so we are allowing the magic to come in in this game we are allowing to goodness to unfold we are allowing ourselves to change our belief system because they are no longer required anymore now we're creating systems of knowledge systems of knowing what's what and bringing that together and overstanding life as it is as we connect with life in all of its aspects exploring further moving further into this ascension path as it's taking place some people believe it some don't we're in the middle of it and more magic will take place that what you would call miracles is actually the drastic transformation of things in place in front of you faster than your logic can fathom it. Well, when you sit back and observe life, you'll begin to see more sequences and numbers to pop up and healing to take place. So, blessed be that we witness Mothership Ison passing by, blessing the planets with download codes. It's going to be cray cray. Your, your dreams are going to be from sense to nonsense, live it all, take it all in, embody it, integrate it, heal your subconscious construct into positive mechanistic life force expressions that enhance and accumulate life, for that is what you are. You're the Magi. You are a nation of Magis. I, Magi Nation, imagination. Use that fantasy to create your world you're blessed, you're here, your choice. Nobody can make that for you. And I thank you for being with me on this ride and enjoying this very much so. God bless and see you on the flip side. One. With occurrence of registrations, a regular pulsating pattern of radiated energy. Unquestionably, an immensely powerful field of energy is being generated around here somewhere. We're just having difficulty focusing on it. Apollo has no difficulty focusing. He taps that energy, Mr. Scott. Sir, some creatures can generate control energy with no harm to themselves. 